Hi everybody, let's solve another SQL problem from number 1341, movie rating. Let's take a look at the prompt statement. We are given two tables, movies and users. Table movies has two columns. Movie ID is the primary key, title is the name of the movie. And table users, this table has two columns, users ID and name. User ID is the primary key for this table. And name is the name of the users. Actually, we're given another table, so three tables in total. This table movie rating has four columns, movie ID, user ID, rating, and created ad. The combination of two columns, movie ID and user ID, is the primary key. This table contains the rating of a movie by a user. In their review, created ad is the user's review date. So our task is to write a solution to firstly find the name of the user who has rated the greatest number of movies in case of a tie return the lexicographically smaller username meaning in alphabetical order and secondly we find the movie name with the highest average rating in february 2020 in case of a tie, return the lexicographically smaller movie I, movie name let's take a look at the example here movies table we have three movie ids avengers frozen 2 and joker users table has four users the name of the the users and in movie rating we have so this movie id number one has one two three four users rated and for this movie ids this movie was rated three four to one we have to find the average rating for this one and this is the date that the user left the review and for movie ID number two we also have to find the average rating and also the name of the movie that has the highest average rating of all okay so here's the output Daniel is the user rated the greatest number of movies Daniel user id number one he rated one two three times right and monica user id number two let's see how many times this user rated one two three also three so we have a tie if in case of a tie we return the name in alphabetical order right and maria rated one two times and james rated one time so in the results here the first row we should return the user who has rated the greatest number of movies so that would be daniel d is before m so we return daniel and for frozen 2 we have the average rating let's see if frozen 2 has what is the average rating for frozen 2 so id number 2 for frozen 2 we have 7 7 divided by 2 that is 3.5 and for movie ID number three we have two rating the total the average is seven divided by two that is 3.5 so that's a tie and we return the movie names in alphabetical order and for the the reason here frozen 2 was rated three times by user ID number one two three but the average is only seven because only seven divided by two because we are looking at the average rating in february 2022 in here we don't include this date we don't include this rating because this user rated this movie not in february it's in march all right so let's solve this problem first we'll find the name of user who has rated the greatest number of movies all right, so we are going to join users table with movie rating. So select name because we need to return name in the output from users. Call you and I'm gonna inner join with movie rating. Cut table and we we'll call this N. We join on so user i users table. The primary key is user ID. User ID equal to m equal to user ID. User ID, and we want to count the name 
we call it count, right? And we are going to group by the name. Alright, so let's run this real quick. For, so for this first task, I join users table with movie rating table on user ID. And I want to count hen how many times this the name appeared and group by name. So in the output, I see that this name, Daniel, appeared three times. Monica appears three times as well. And we need, this is a tie, and we are going to order by name in ascending order. But we also need to order the count in descending because we want to get the greatest number of rating and then we order name in alphabetical order so this is what we have but we only need to get the top one so it is going to be daniel to do that we limit one so let's run that and as you can see, we have Daniel. So moving on to the second task, find the movie name with the highest average rating in February 2020. All right. So in order to do that, I'm going to select, I'm going to join movies table with movie rating. So select, we need title and for average is going to be, so let me do this first from movies. Also in the join with movie rating, we join on, let's call this M2, movie ID equal to M2 dot movie ID. We need to get the average, right? We need to get the highest average of rating so we're going to get the average rating and we call this average and we need to group by need to group by title let's run this at first i will comment this out so let's run this second part real quick so as you can see here, Frozen 2 and Joker. Oh, I forgot to put the condition where the uh, rating is in February 2022 only. So in here, we need to put where. Remember in my other video, I would use the date format just to get the year and month of it. So it's going to be date format. Created at. And we are going to give the format that we need to retrieve from. So it's going to be year and month. Where the date is, the year and date equal to 2020 and in February only. So let's run that again. All right, so now we are seeing Frozen 2 and Joker has the same average rating. We also need to order this by average descending. We want the highest rating, average rating. So we're going to order by a average in descending, descending order. And if there's a tie, we are going to order it by alphabetical order. So it's going to be title in ascending order and we also select the top one the first one limit one so run that we should see frozen two okay so this is our two table that we need for our final output and in order to combine these two together i'm going to use union all so that we'll have these two results in one table and we'll have to select uh, name as result. So in order to for union all to work, the name of the column has to be exactly the same. So I'm going to do from as results. 
from this one, we union R with this down here. We call this user, right? And down here, we union R with this one. And we have to select title also as results from this query here and we call this title okay so let's run that all right so my output returned daniel as the user with the greatest number of rating and frozen 2 is the movie title with the highest average rating so let's submit that make sure i pass all the test cases all right so runtime 2201 milliseconds beats 71.36 percent of users with my sequel that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i see you in another video